Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a very short video to talk to you about the Logitech G915 TKL roughly a year later. So I did a review and unboxing video on this, the white version, and the black version of this keyboard roughly a year ago. And I also recently did a video on my favorite gear where I talked about the different things that I use and why I still use them and why I like them. And the G915 TKL in white especially is on that list as one of my favorite keyboards to use despite all the other ones i've tested in that period this is still my favorite and the reasons for that are it's a really nice looking comfortable keyboard that low profile design means it sits nicely on the desk and it's comfortable to use it's easy on the eye it looks fantastic it also sounds really quiet and therefore doesn't get picked up by my microphone when i'm gaming and doing other things and streaming for example and therefore it's not obnoxious and yet still delivers a fantastic experience it has really good battery life it holds up over time even after all this time it still barely needs charging it looks magnificent and here you can see all these clips are taken now with a keyboard that's been heavily used so when i'm not reviewing other things i'm going back to this keyboard and daily use working and then video editing and gaming at night and so it's slightly dirty in places and ever so slightly dusty but still looks magnificent. Now, one of the things that I said when I initially reviewed it, so I was a bit worried that the keycaps might be a bit flimsy, and if you were taking them off constantly, they'll probably break. And I still think that might ring true. However, I've never had a problem. I haven't removed all the keycaps regularly, so that is worth bearing in mind. But at the same time, this keyboard has been used and abused on a daily basis, and those keycaps have still held up. They've not snapped those little pins off or anything. And as you'll see from these shots as well, all the lettering is still really nice and visible. There's no yellowing or marring on the keycaps at all. It still looks fairly like it's just come out of the box, like it's brand new. Obviously, I've treated it fairly well, dusted it down when I needed to. But for the purpose of this video, I've left it basically as it is from daily use. So it doesn't look like it's just come out of the box again. And then I've used the original shots because these are brand new clips that I've just taken yesterday and I want to be able to show you what it looks like after all this time and as you'll see it still looks magnificent it still sounds great it still looks really nice and it sounds fantastic to type on the white version is quieter than the black one and it's still my personal preference and I'm going to show you some shots of the black one in a second to talk about some other things the black one I've had for a bit longer and has been used by my wife all this time, so it's actually had heavier use because she doesn't review keyboards. But I want to talk to you about that as well and show off what the differences are between the white one and the black one after all this period of time. But as you can see, this keyboard still looks magnificent and I really like it. I really thoroughly enjoy many things about it, as I did when I initially got it out of the box. Those dedicated media keys, for example, the volume control wheel, easy access to those things. Obviously, the ability to connect via the wireless dongle, be a plugged in and Bluetooth all are wonderful selling points. But the thing for me that's wonderful about it as well is that it's held up over all this time. Now, there's another thing that I didn't talk about in great depth that I found really useful when I keep switching out to other keyboards is the little dock with the USB dongle. So something simple like that is a really nice addition because it means when I have to plug something else in and put this away for a little while, I can just dock that in there and then I know where it is when I need it next. Now here you can see some shots of the black G915 TKL alongside the white one. As I said, this one's been a bit more heavily used on a daily basis by my wife. And one of the things that I commented on the previous video that I did on this keyboard, the black version, was that the RGB lighting doesn't stand out as well as it does on the white one. And this is again clear here. But another thing that you might notice is that the black one has interestingly marred more than the white one so there's a lot of oils and things that have come off fingertips and this has actually been wiped down i wiped it down to try and clean it up a bit and still you can see the lettering is just marred slightly it's still visible but there's definitely some oils and some traces on there which ruin the look and feel of it and this is not something that the white one suffers from so i think this is worth bearing in mind if you're considering purchasing in my mind the white one looks a lot better and holds up a lot better over time too so this has been the provoke pro i hope you found this video useful and interesting be sure to check out my other video where i talk about the astro 50 a year later and also talk about all my favorite gear 
and what I'd recommend purchasing based on my personal preferences. Thanks for watching and have a great life. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, hilarious or otherwise. Take a look at these other videos that I think you might find interesting as well. And have a look at the description for links and other information you might find useful. Click that join button to see the benefits of being a member of my YouTube channel. And most importantly, have a great life.